Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the young Dorian Can Jr. Dorian, for the UK fans, boxing fans back home, you're signing with Mayweather Promotions, but let them know who Dorian Can is. Uh, I'm just the next big thing, next top top fighter, next top prodigy coming from Mayweather. So, yeah, uh, on June 6th, y'all gonna see, and I'm putting on the show for you. Talk to me about June 6th. You're, you're, you're obviously a decorated amateur, that's by Floyd. Signed you, obviously. You've done a lot in the amateur career, but your pro debut. For young fighters coming through, those bright lights, those small gloves, there's no head guards, no vest, no nothing. I mean, it's a different sport, some say. So, how excited are you, and what can we expect from you on June 6th? Um, I'm super excited. I'm just, I've just been ready for this moment since February because if people didn't know, the Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather fight was actually supposed to happen like February 21st and I was going to be on the car. So I've just been basically in training camp since then and I'm super sharp, just taking off the last couple of pounds and I'm ready. For people that don't know, what, what weight are you going to campaign at as a professional? Uh, I'm starting at 126. If I make 126 super easy, which most likely I will, then I'm, I might go down to 22, and then from there I'm going to move up to 30, 35, 40, maybe even 47, so yeah. I'm guessing you're, when I hear you moving up the weights, I'm guessing you want to emulate Floyd Mayweather and yeah, yeah. become a four or five weight world champion? Yes, definitely. I want to win all the, all the belts, be undisputed in all the weight classes, so yeah, I'm definitely trying to be the best. That's the goal. You, you are young, so you, you do have to be patient with all that, yeah, right? Definitely. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Got to be patient. You know, don't I'm not going to rush nothing, but those are just my goals in my head already, what I want to uh, accomplish. You, you mentioned there you, can, you might go down to 122, you're just going to be at 126. I mean, that super bantamweight, bantamweight defense, man, they're tough with guys like Anui and, yeah. and all these hard hitters, Casemiro, the name few that might move up as well to super bantamweight. Yeah. It's a tough old division. Some of you little guys, yeah. I mean, you, you can bang like heavyweights, so... Are you excited to be in these divisions? Yes, definitely. I'm, I want to, like I said, I want to be the best. So one day, they, but they might be out of my weight class by the time I start fighting for the champion and stuff. But if they're still there and I got to fight them, I definitely want to get in the ring with them and show off my skills. Talking about showing off your skills, what can we, this is on Sky Sports box office back home in the UK. So for the UK fans and the American fans and the fans all around the world, what can we expect from you on June 6th? Uh, just expect an exciting fight. Uh, I'm going to come out, we're we going to get the knockout most definitely, but I'm not going to just go forward and, and throw dumb punches like a lot of these fighters do on their pro debut. I'm a smart fighter before anything, so I'm going to come out and show up for y'all. Floyd Mayweather takes on Logan Paul. Now Floyd Mayweather, one of the all-time greats, but definitely one of the greatest in my era since I've been a kid growing up, 50 and 0. He's fought the best Pacquiao, Canelo, he's fought them all. He's fighting a YouTuber in Logan Paul. Now the hardcore boxing fans might not like it. They don't like these YouTubers coming in because like I said to Mickey, Mickey Scala, that young fighters like yourself, you've got to work really hard to get to where Logan Paul's got to in only three fights. Do you know what I mean? So what are your thoughts on Mayweather uh, versus Logan Paul? Um, my personal opinion, I think it's like 50-50, like 50%. I think it's dumb because like he's about to make like millions and millions of dollars from just coming in after two, three fights, and he's already making millions. And then you got fighters like me and a few of the other fighters on the card who's been doing this. Well, all the other fighters on the card, basically, who's been boxing their whole life, sacrificing, losing weight, and everything. And we getting, we not getting that much money, you know. So I think it's dumb, but at the same time, it, it is cool, just for like the uh, ex excitement and all that, the entertainment. Yeah, yeah. So it's like 50-50 to me. What, what, you, what, what are you expecting for Floyd there? I mean, come on, pa Pacquiao he, and Canelo, he's fought the greats. Surely Logan Paul can get through this fight. Nah, definitely. I, I think Floyd's just going to let it be exciting for the uh, first two rounds. This is a six-round fight. First two rounds, three rounds, he's going to just let it be exciting, jab him a few times. Then by the fourth, fifth round, he's going to get him out of there. Back to you then. When you were a kid growing up and you were watching Floyd on the TV, did you ever expect, I mean, he retired, Floyd, did you ever expect to be fighting on his undercard? Uh, not my first fight, no. <laughs> but yeah, I already knew like I was going to be like one of the top fighters. I've been boxing since I was two, so I've been doing this my whole life. Never played another sport, nothing. Been to all the national tournaments, international tournaments, and won them all. So I'm just ready to show up. Finally, for the UK boxing fans back home, you got a word for them? Yeah, uh, shout out to all y'all. Y'all always be on my DMs, supporting me and stuff. So uh, thank you for all the love and just be ready for me to put on a show. Where can they find you on your social media? Um, 
all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, everything at Living Lavish J. So yeah. you go. Thank you. Thank you so much, champ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.